हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर एंड हाउस होल्ड सर्किट राइट ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग इन डिटेल्स अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी राइट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव डाउट अबाउट द एनर्जी एंड पावर okay so i want to distinguish these two things here so energy can be defined in one sentence the capacity of doing work right okay uh, actually there is not any uh, standard definition of the energy but this definition can be illustrated for energy right because it is because energy have different forms for example chemical energy heat energy mechanical energy electrical energy light energy nuclear energy etc so there cannot be a very accurate definition of energy but this is a very standard definition uh, of energy okay so what is energy capacity of doing work or ability of doing work right power can be defined as rate of doing work let me explain these two parameter with the help of the electrical circuit right here i am drawing a simple circuit having a bulb this is the symbol of the bulb okay very simple circuit now i want to say that the wire are connected like this is the bulb glow no why it needs the source that means the source of energy that will force the bulb to glow right so what we do actually we connect a battery source okay of suppose 1.5 volt which we use in our daily life if we connect 1.5 volt and the rating of the bulb is also 1.5 then this bulb is start glowing and the electrical energy gets converted into heat and light energy okay the maximum amount of light and few amount of heat right so the energy here which lie inside this bulb we know is chemical energy right that chemical energy get converted into electrical energy and ultimately into light and heat energy this battery has the capacity has the ability to put this bulb at glowing condition right now next comes how the bulb will glow what will be the luminous intensity of this bulb it depends on the power of this bulb right well, now the comes what is power the power of this bulb i can say suppose i am again drawing the circuit here and this is a light of suppose 24 volt okay and if we connect a battery same battery of 1.5 volt and uh, 2 ampere hour suppose for example because this is the measure of the energy that is contained inside this battery right so is this battery have ability to glow this bulb no why because the rating of the bulb is 24 volt that means the level of the electrical energy that this bulb demands is minimum 24 volt that means this uh, battery has no ability has no capacity uh, for this bulb to glow i think it can also be say that this battery source have less power to uh, put this bulb at glowing condition that means the rate of the energy electrical energy discharge through the wire is not sufficient for this bulb okay so what will we do we will replace the battery source of greater power right in this case the rate of electrical discharge will be more suppose we connect here a 24 volt battery and 50 ampere hours capacity i connected this battery only to increase the rate of discharge of the current 
that is the demand of this bulb okay this battery can deliver a current of 50 ampere for an hour right i think you are understanding so the rate of doing work of this battery is higher than that of this battery source so i think the power of this battery is more than this battery now i think you are understanding what is the energy and what is the power okay both the battery source have the energy to put the bulb at glowing condition but as the rating of this bulb is more higher that means it demands the uh, battery source that can deliver higher rate of current that means higher rate of power discharge okay i think now it is clear okay next i am telling you about the measurement of electrical energy how will you measure that what amount of energy is consumed by this bulb or by any other electrical appliances okay here i am drawing a simple circuit okay suppose this is a bulb and this bulb is connected with a voltage source v right and this is a switch okay here a current i flow through this bulb right now um, by the definition of the voltage we know that the work done in bringing unit positive charge from one point to another point is called potential difference okay so v can be defined as v equal to w by q w equal to work done work done in joule okay and q q is the charge okay in coulomb right we can also write this w equal to qv right so this is the energy equation in terms of charge and voltage this can also be written as uh, we know q equal to iet okay current into time t is in second and i is in ampere so we can replace here in w equation that means in the, this equation w equal to okay or we can rearrange it like v i t this equation gives the energy consumed by the bulb that means the work done by the bulb in terms of the electrical parameter volt ampere and time that means if this bulb is glowed uh, by taking i ampere current for t second under a potential difference of v then we can say the energy consumed by this bulb is w equal to v i t right so this is one equation of the energy consumed or energy supplied okay we can also write this work done equation by using ohm's law we know v equal to i into r where r is the resistance of the bulb we can replace v in that equation v equal to i into r into i into t that means i square r t right so this is another equation of energy okay we know i equal to v by r okay so we can write v equal to w equal to v by r square into rt okay this is also another equation in terms of voltage resistance and time that means we can write uh, the energy equation for in terms of electrical parameter w equal to qv equal to 
VIT equal to I square RT equal to equal to V square by RT right we will use these equation frequently while solving the sums of electrical power right suppose in certain sums we are getting the parameter like time resistance and current so we can find the energy if we are not getting the current and we have the data like voltage resistance and time so we can apply this equation and if you have the charge and voltage you can apply the first equation here right so all these are the equation of the energy consumed by the bulb or energy supplied by the system right so keep all these equation in your mind